what's the song by Eddie Floyd? It's like thunder. It was like lightning. Every time he struck, it was frightening. His strength was was in that that sort of power he had with the guitar and with his singing and with his music. It's over the whole thing. And you hear, you stop. Oh my God! Listen at this guy play, and he's young too. He just he had the, he had the feeling. It was, it was a special gift. It was a gift. And he could just keep going on and on and on and just, you know, it's talking to you. It was great. I think the, the most lasting memory I always have of Stevie is his passion. Well, when I think about him, I, I think about him as my little brother. I mean, he was an he was a unbelievable musician. We all know that. I was walking the tightrope, stepping on the bridge. Vaughn died in a tragic accident following a concert in August 1990. The music world lost a brilliant young blues guitarist on the brink of international fame. At the age of 35, and after an all-too-brief recording career of only seven years, the flamboyant Texas guitar slinger and his band Double Trouble changed the course of modern blues. There was something about his passion and honesty, not to mention his wildfire speed and technical flash that mesmerized audiences and fellow musicians alike. Both Stevie Ray and brother Jimmy Vaughn learned to play guitar in their hometown of Dallas at an early age, but Stevie honed his licks in the Austin club scene of the 70s and early 80s. The rest, as they say, is history. Years of relentless touring, a courageous struggle to overcome drug and alcohol addiction, Grammy Awards, Golden Platinum Albums, numerous honors and worldwide acclaim. Musically, Stevie Ray was always taking chances, stretching out, exploring new ground, never playing a song the same way twice. His strength, confidence, and fortitude on stage were compelling, yet he hadn't even begun to peak. This is a celebration of the music and life of Stevie Ray Vaughan by his friends, peers, and heroes, a who's who of blues, gathering to pay tribute to one of Texas' great music legends. I don't think there's anybody that tears into a song the way he did. And, you know, I, I got the, the great honor of being able to tour with Muddy, and I got to see Howlin' Wolf live before he passed away. And I traveled with some of my favorite blues people ever, one of whom uh, from years ago, Buddy Guy, who I cut my teeth with uh, when I was 18. Um, 
he has the same kind of passion and I think that Stevie Ray is just coming from some place that's so deep and so heartfelt that there isn't really anybody that you can compare him to. All right, so right now, put your hands together for the one and only Bonnie Ray. was my pride and joy is all of our pride and joy. I would go see him play every night. Say we would be on tour together, and I, every night I would go out and watch him play from backstage. He 
if you're a, a guitar player or say a jazz musician or any kind of a musician that plays from the heart that kind of music it, it's sort of like a radio uh, it's like a radio you got to tune it in but once you get it on the station you just sort of receive it he could go to that place when he was playing on stage he would walk out on stage pick up the guitar and within a couple of songs he could just go to that place where he was receiving his inspiration and then it was just sort of, it would just sort of take it care of itself and uh, that's not easy to do down in Texas, baby All the telephone lines are down Well, it's flooding down in Texas, baby All the telephone lines are down Lord, I can't hear a single sound Dark clouds rolling Man, I'm standing out in the rain Standing out in the rain well, Flood waters keep rolling Man is about to drive me Drive me insane Sunshine 
Down in Texas, there's Larry Davis song. We got Chris Layton, Reese Winans, and Tommy Shannon himself. many ways of showing you that he uh, had not only talent but he had the feel for playing blues on his hands he was his look seemed to be flawless the way he moved with it uh, he when I play I play sort of like talking you know you know syllables you say a sentence here a sentence there and you know, then I got to stop and think for something else to to keep my conversation going. But his didn't seem to be that at all. It was fluent. It, he flowed when he played. Uh, he could get something going and it was like a song. And it would just go on and on and ideas continuously flowed. I don't have that. Uh, and it's not a lot of people that I hear that do have it. But Stevie had it. Without this next guy, there wouldn't be any electric blues as we know it. Today, it wouldn't even be close because we're all trying to sound like him and still are, every one of us. So put your hands together for the great, the one and only B.B. King. Oh, so bad Don't know what we 
But he got a huge influence on us. Stevie did him uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of Buddy Guy songs. On his, he recorded them. We always both wanted to be Buddy Guy, you know. I mean, some of the first records I ever brought home was BB King and Buddy Guy. He was one of a kind man, and and those kind of people come along once in a lifetime. You know, you 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 you'll never fulfill a Stevie Ray Vaughan shoes. A muddy water shoe, and that's uh, and and Jimi Hendrix and people like this come along, and they will live forever. So far as I'm concerned, that his guitar playing will 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 ring in my mind and my brain the day I'm gone. You know, I'll probably hear Stevie when I close my eyes. Let's put your hands together for Buddy Guy. Thank you so much. It's just an honor to be here on this occasion for one of the greatest guitar players that ever lived. You better believe tonight is for you, Stevie. <laughs> Look over there. Look all around me, and you just look everywhere. Cause it really doesn't matter. Cause I don't know which way to go. As the night is falling, and I'm a from home Look at this And you look at that 
And everybody trying to tell me Just where is that? It really doesn't matter Look at here I Don't matter to me at all Lord, I'm standing at the crossroads People, I'm trying to move on down the line Don't say nothing yet, wait a minute. You know, blues was, it's, 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 it's still today, every once in a while I need a lift by someone other than myself because I couldn't do it. And he came along and, and, and woke up America, Europe, and everybody else with his guitar playing and said, okay, I've lit the fire, it's burning, but it's more logs than the fire than this log. There's a Buddy Guy, there's a Muddy Waters, there's a, there's a, 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 a T-Bone, a B.B. King, and everybody else. And he let the world know this what it was. And he brought us all out of there. Him, Eric, the Ro Rolling Stones, all these people is just so famous they didn't have to do that. He was the one who came from Texas, you know, and you're like saying, no, no, not from Texas. And everybody was saying, oh, yes, including myself, yes, he's from Texas. And... He's playing blues like you never heard it before. Pick out your shoes, now the blues and the blues. They're so high, so you got nothing to lose. Pick out all the years, he's got spread of the news. We got a room on the floor, come on, baby, shake some blue. Where the house is a rockin' door, father, knockin' down the house is a rockin' door.
I was in my car and I remember thinking, I have to find out before the day is over who that guitar player is. And that doesn't happen to me very often that I get that way about listening to music. I mean, about three or four times in my life I've felt that way in a car listening to the radio where I've stopped the car, pulled over and th listened and thought, I've got to find out before the end of the day, not the, you know, sooner or later, but I have to know now who that is. And I remember um, being fascinated by the fact that he never ever seemed to be lost in any way. I mean, it wasn't ever that he took a, a, a breather or, to, or paused to think where he was going to go next. It just flowed out of him. Always seemed to flow out of him. And actually, even that doesn't come just with virtuosity or practice or any of those. It's not a question of um, doing it over and over again or anything like that. It's just that he seemed to be an open channel and it just flowed through him. He never, he never ever seemed to kind of dry up, you know, because I play, like, I'm, when I play, I sometimes stop every now and then. I just stop and think, oh, what am I going to do now? Or, I don't want to do that. I don't want to repeat myself. So I'll get caught, I'll get caught up somehow. You know, free, you freeze, you kind of freeze. And a lot, most players do. And I never saw him do that. So he was a channel in some way.
gonna give up on me I saw him play in, in London one time, and I sat about six rows back at the Hammersmith Odeon, and for about the first ten minutes I thought I wasn't going to be able to take it. It was so loud, and I thought, I can't take this, and actually got used to it. And I, I, I'm within about 20, 20 minutes after that, I was used to it, and almost, and, and it was right. It was, it, it got, it become all right. Uh, and at the same time, it was kind of like that thing of su I had to surrender to it completely. And, and, I, and in a way, when, I saw, when we were at Alpine Valley, I couldn't let myself do that. I had to put up a bit of resistance in order to keep my own kind of self-esteem up because I wouldn't have been able to go on otherwise. I'm not joking. To, to have been up to it completely absorbed by what he was doing, I would have thought, what's the point? And done kind of, I'd done a runner. And I cleared off, run away. Stevie would be very proud, and uh, I know he's listening, so, so check it out. All right, so right now, it brings me great pleasure to bring Robert Cray. Give me Robert. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. And uh, let's do this one for Stevie. Like this.
just right And I know just what to do I know that nobody will want to forget him. I think that he took, I think he took what he learned from blues and took it to another level. He incorporated a lot of, of, of the good things in a lot of different guitar players, like we mentioned Jimi Hendrix. Now he could take the part of Jimi Hendrix that he felt was, you know, what he liked and, and added it to other things that he learned. Cause, cause Stevie has, Stevie, the things I hear out of Stevie the, the most that was the power and the passion. Although he'd had a real nice subtle side to him too when he plays you know, the more mellower side. But I think for a long time coming there's gonna be a lot of frustrated guitar players trying to pick up on Stevie's stuff. <laughs> thing that made Stevie Ray Vaughan a different kind of a guitar player is first uh, he he drew from everybody out there but what came out of it was him and he, he, that's the truest form of appreciating somebody else is to play their thing but don't do them he wasn't if he played some Albert King thing it didn't sound like somebody copying Albert King it was Stevie Ray Vaughan playing something in Albert King's bag. Or if he played something in T-Bone Walker's bag, it didn't sound like somebody copying T-Bone Walker. It was Stevie Ray Vaughan playing some, uh, some T-Bone style of stuff, but doing what he did. And that's what's the, a huge separation. But the other thing, he had listened to a lot of styles of cats. I mean, whether it's a Jimi Hendrix and mixed up cat stuff that I don't think too many people had considered could be mixed up. Styles from way back in the game to stuff that was like new and threw it all together and made something new out of it. And that's what music, that's how music grows. Even when he did something wrong, it led to something right. Me. See, 
song six strings down the uh it's a pretty wild story about how um after stevie got killed and uh i was sort of I, I was just at home i didn't want to go play anywhere i didn't feel like going anywhere and i this is you know a, a couple of months afterwards i really didn't uh know what to do i'm still busy with the question of why did he get killed you know so uh, I get this tape in the mail, um, and it's Art Neville doing, uh, it's just a, it's a demo of, of him playing the piano, six strings down with the drummer, and him singing, and, and some other voices, maybe himself. It was like a demo of the song. And it, and it was like, New Orleans, boom, you know, like New Orleans, you know. I'm like, hey, that's cool. And he goes, Alpine Valley, boom, boom, boom. I'm going, wow, in the middle of the night, boom, 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 six strings down, boom, 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 on a heaven bound flight. So I've been sitting around trying to write songs, you know. He said it in one line. 
He said the whole thing. I said, man, that's it. It's like my personal way of saying, hey, man, thank you, you know, for letting me know you. I'm glad I was I'm happy to be at, here doing the same time, share the music together, you know, and, and whatever else we shared together, I man, as far as just people, just knowing each other, you know. And he had a special gift.
Stringer. Riz, Calvin, Dennis, it's the Tilt the World Band, Bill Willis, George Reyes on the drum, Kenny Freeman on the piano and the guitar. We're going to do a song that Stevie sang that was on family style. It's called Tick Tock, and you know how it goes. One night while sleeping in my bed I had a beautiful dream I dreamed that all the people of the world Got together on the same wavelength And began helping one another Now in this dream Universal love was the theme of the day And understanding and it happened this way the sick and the hungry had smiles on their faces the tired and the homeless they had family all around the streets in the cities were all beautiful places and the walls came tumbling down people love the world we all had It was safe for you and me The worst of enemies Became the best of friends Oh, people of the world We all had together We had together For the boys and the girls And the children of the world Look forward to a future Remember how
Thank <laughs> you.